أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم everyone welcome back to the Fosis Wales and West online video tutorials where we're going to guide you through some of the basic aspects of running an ISOC now today we're going to look at strategic thinking it's a topic we started last time where we discussed uh, a few different aspects of running an ISOC and primarily we looked at vision, aim and objectives Today we're going to look at a different aspect of strategic thinking, which really goes hand in hand with uh, what we covered last time. But just to remind ourselves of what strategic thinking is in the first place, it's long-term plans, it's direction, it's consistency, and it's order into chaos. So these four ideas, these four um, definitions really give a flavor of what strategic thinking is trying to achieve. And whereas last time we looked at the goal, where do you want to go? Today we're going to look at where you are, the self-analysis aspect. And we're going to do this through a tool called SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is fantastic. It's very basic, but it's very powerful. It's a, a strategic thinking tool. It's a way of assessing your organization. And it goes hand in hand with vision, aim and objectives, two sides of the same coin. Now SWOT is an acronym. It stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities and Threats. So the best way of picturing these four kind of um, statements is as a table. In this table you can look at the top four aspects, the top two, sorry, Strengths and Weaknesses. Now we would say these are internal. Strengths and Weaknesses are all about the internal nature of your organization. Its strengths, its weaknesses, nothing else. Whereas the bottom two, opportunities and threats, they're external. They're about the environment, they're about the culture around you, they're about the society, you know, the external factors coming into play. On the left hand side, the left hand column, strengths and opportunities, these are positive things, things which are helpful to achieving your objectives. Whereas on the right hand side, weaknesses and threats, these things are harmful to you, they're things which will hinder you things which will be causing problems, things you need to keep an eye out, they're negative. So with this table, you kind of see how it kind of pl plays out a bit, I hope. For each of these headings, you should be listing your organization's respective uh, qualities. So for strengths and weaknesses, write them down. For uh, opportunities and threats, write them down. And they'll give you a flavor of where your organization is. So last week we looked at way to be you know where your organization wants to be going today we're going to look at where it is let me give you some examples it might be that your organization has a very large volunteer base Muslim students who are willing to help with any topic at the same time they may have a lack of skills they actually you know they don't they can't contribute because they don't know how to project manage they have no leadership skills they're very bad at teamwork an opportunity is something like a very helpful students union you might have a students union an SU who can financially support you, who are really supportive of your activities, who really understand what you're trying to achieve and are really behind you 100%. And a threat, a threat might be for example that your university is becoming increasingly secular. They don't want prayer rooms on campus, they don't want Islamic or in any religious activities on campus, they want to keep it as secular as possible and you might f feel some tension there. So that's something that is an example of a threat. So how does it work? How do you use SWOT? First thing you do, gather together a variety of ISOC stakeholders. So your ISOC will have stakeholders in the form of the Muslim students whom you serve. And they will also be the committee members. It will be local community organizations and mosques, the imams and the bodies who also work with you on certain activities. And there might even be alumni, people who have gone through your university either as an ISOC member or not, who will kind of be able to give you a different perspective. The more the better. Introduce them to the idea of a SWOT. It should be quite uh, you know, easy to grasp as soon as they're comfortable with it. Spend some time and either individually or as small groups or even collectively work on getting together some uh, lists for each of the headings we discussed last time for your strengths, for your weaknesses, for your opportunities and for your threats. 
and you should really have a very large list at the end of it, especially if you worked individually or in small groups. Next, examine the list and make it more succinct. Make it concise and try and combine together the points which are repeating aspects or uh, which are kind of doubling over themselves and make it as short and sweet as possible. Using this list, now this is the important part, using this list, help it and use it to develop and inform strategies to maximize your strengths, reduce your weaknesses, employ your opportunities and reduce the threats. So like I said, we looked at vision aimed and objectives last week. This is where SWOT analysis and uh, uh, the vision will really kind of merge together. They will help you find out where you are and where you need to be going and what you can use in your organization to help you achieve your aims. Renew this activity as often as possible and keep it on record for reference. Don't let it go. So final remarks. SWOT is a powerful tool. In GCSE bus business studies, you will have covered this if you've done it. But, or because it's simple, or because it's basic, don't undervalue it. It's a very powerful and very useful tool. It keeps your organization grounded and in touch with reality. You don't. You can sometimes lose perspective, especially if you're in the thick of things. You might think your ISOC is amazing, and you really, you know, you're really not, and you kind of lose perspective. This will help you find out where you are. At the same time, it might be the opposite. It might be that you are a very successful ISOC, but you undervalue the amount of stuff you can do and the amount of work you can do because you don't realize it. This will help you see where you are. It will help inform your vision, aims, and objectives. So like I said, two sides of the same coin, and they will go hand in hand. Doing SWOT analysis twice a year at the beginning of each term is ideal. I say twice a year because the u usual university year is structured according to two terms, but if you have three or four terms, then do it likewise. At the beginning of each term, do your SWOT analysis, look at last year's SWOT analysis, and see where you've gone, see where you've developed, see if there's any changes, any patterns emerging and try and use it to inform the way you work. So here's some uh, further reading, Strategic Planning and Implementation for Islamic Organizations. Very useful book. Um, if you're interested in SWOT analysis on a deeper level, uh, this is a good place to turn. It also contains a lot of other kind of uh, activities and tools you can use. So this is a good place to start, inshallah. As always, if you have any questions, you can go to our website, wales.forces.org.uk or email us at wales.isoctraining at fosis.org.uk. Jazakallah khair for listening. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.